Hey, Journey students. Uh, my name is Jadron. I have the pleasure of being the student ministries director and pastor here at the Journey. And we are in week two of our Transform series. And we're talking about what it means to transform our minds, uh, to, be, to think differently and to, to see things differently. And this is going to be really short. Uh, but we want to just hit on this one thing. Last week we talked about taking the lie that's in our minds and then s- using a truth of God to spin it and then removing the lie and then placing the truth in in order to transform our minds, right? So, for example, that would look like, um, you know, saying that nobody loves you, right? So the lie is, okay, I don't feel loved. God doesn't love me. People don't love me. And you remove that, right? Right? And you identify that lie, and then you see the truth of God. Well, the truth of God is, hey, well, you have people in this room right now with you that love you. And more than anything, God loves you and sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for you. So God loves you so much that, he, that you were worth Jesus to him. So, so what we do now is we remove the lie of I don't feel loved and I'm not loved to God loves me and the people around me love me and put that in your mind and you think about those things because that is what is good and honorable and lovely and acceptable and excellent and worthy of praise. That is how you renew your mind. Well, this week we're going to be diving into something a little bit differently um, and it's something I, I just want to touch on and I'll, we'll share a little bit and then we'll let you go out into your groups. But here's what it is. Okay, it's so Romans chapter, 12, Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says that, it says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God. So what God wants. You will be able to understand what God wants, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So transform your mind and, let, and renew your mind through God so that, you can figure out what God wants because it's good and acceptable and perfect. So what does that mean? What does that look like for you? Well, it means that there will be times in life that you will have to deal with things that are very different than what you originally thought was going to happen, right? Things will happen in your life that are going to be so out of left field, you're not going to understand why they happen that way. You're not going to understand why things went down the way they did, why a friend messed with you or said something when you trusted them, why a family member passed away when you weren't expecting it and it was tragic. You're trying to wrestle through these thoughts of, I've been good most of my life. I've been good almost all my life. I've come to church. I've come to Journey Kids. I've been to Journey Students. I've been doing this forever. What is going on? Something good has to happen, right? Everything good always has to work out for me, but here's the thing. It doesn't always work out that way. It doesn't. And it's hard to think through. It's hard to think through. But see, we transform our mind and we renew our minds not to feel good about ourselves, but to understand through testing what the will of God is, what God wants. Because here's the thing, what God wants, God ultimately gets. What God desires to be ultimately happens. There's nothing you or I can do to stop it. It's impossible. It's like trying to stop a train with a, it's like a spider web. You know, like, I mean, I guess that's a bad example because Spider-Man, but whatever. Like, you understand what I'm saying. (laughs) Like, Okay, we'll say this. It's like you trying to stop a train going full speed with, like, confetti. Right? That's, how are you going to do that? How are you going to do that effectively? Well, you don't. So what do we do when life throws us curveballs? Because ultimately, we're working on in Romans 12 verse 2, and we're thinking about transforming our minds because that's the whole theme of this two-week series We're trying to understand what the will of God is in our lives. We're trying to understand what God wants for our lives. So when things take a turn for the worse, what do we go to? And it's in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, that we get that. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. 
Trust God with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Because, like we talked about, our minds are a war zone and we don't always think about the best things. We don't always give the benefit of the doubt. We don't always think about good things. In fact, most of the time we think about really awful, terrible, sinful things. So, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. So this is what I want you to think about. Everything that God is sharing with you, in, in whatever you are seeing in your life that God's kind of revealing to you that's going on, right? So you may see some really difficult situations. You may have a family member in the hospital and they might get healed and we will pray that they get healed but you never know, it might take a turn for the worst. You have friends that are on the verge of betraying you completely. So... How do you wrestle with that? You're in a relationship that's been bad for a little while and it's only going to get worse. What do you do? Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Don't try to figure everything out. Because the more you try to figure everything out, the more you try to take control of the situation and nobody can do more damage to your life than you can. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. There will be things in your life that you will, will never understand. There are things that have happened in my life that I will never understand. I mean, I shared with you uh, a while back that I had a cousin that was, pat that, that was murdered in cold blood and I have no idea why it happened. I never understood it. It still throws me off. But I have to trust God with all my heart and lean on his understanding and not mine. Because see, in my mind, in my heart, I can never reason that. So, I want you to think about that today. What is going on in your life that you need to trust God on, that you don't have any full understanding of what's going on or why it's going on? And how can we help you turn to trust God? How can we help you renew your mind and transform your mind to trust God even in the most difficult situations? Because we want to help you. We want to talk these things out with you. You're not alone. You're not by yourself. We're going through these things together. And you'd be surprised at how many people in your group are going through similar things. So whatever we can do, please like share it in group. I'm gonna encourage you to do that. Because like it says in, in chapter, in, in verse six of Proverbs, it says this, as I turn to my Bible with my sticky note there. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God. So no matter where life takes you, acknowledge God. Because God's there. God's taking care of you, even though it doesn't seem like it at times. God is taking care of you. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. God will shape things. He will, he will take you from one spot where you're going off the rails to back on the track, and he will help you. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge the fact that he's there, that he's listening, that he cares, that he loves you, no matter what's going on around you. And he will make your path straight. So, guys, that's what we want to challenge you with, with today. Uh, like I said, I encourage you, share what's going on in your lives, in your groups, um, because God has some incredible things. After this, uh, here's the thing. We do not have Journey students the, uh, next week because it is uh, Thanksgiving. And we want you guys to go eat your face off. Not eat like your literal face off, but to just go eat. And then after that, the week after that is your group hangout time. So make sure this week that you solidify that with you and your group leader. You guys are going to go hang out with, a, are you guys going to do a group hangout uh, the last Wednesday of November. That's the fourth Wednesday of November. And really excited about that. But then here's the awesome part. 
the first week of December, we are going to have a worship night, a Journey Students worship night right here in the auditorium in Orange City. And we're going to have a Christmas service for all, all campuses. All campuses, Journey Students, Orange City, DeLand, Sanford. Sanford, we're going to be right here in this room. We're going to be singing and we're going to be talking about the greatest gift the world has ever known. We want you to invite friends. Invite friends that don't know Jesus because we're going to share some really awesome stuff. So we'll leave you guys with that. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Enjoy your time in groups.